Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of clean architecture uh, with CQRS and uh, Mediator R, R pattern. Okay, so so far actually we covered this, you know, uh, get post and get by ID. Okay, so get and post we have covered but in this in this session we'll cover, you know, put like how we can update, uh, you know, using web API and uh, along with the uh, clean architecture how we can integrate that clean architecture in this web api and how we will update okay so let's see uh, let's get a start to demo first okay so let me let me check first like how how many are records over there so see it is a one one blocks over there okay the id is 10 okay and the and the name description you know just a uh, for demo purpose it is just a sting 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 okay so we'll update in real things in this id 10 okay whatever we have so let me get try okay put that id whatever id and also just in a body you just add some id okay and name is like okay i have a shisha blog description is like she she sharp is a good language language okay and same things for here as well author is like kkp and image like is a fake dot com okay and let me try to execute okay it is 404 okay why it's 404 because see I, I just did mistake like I just pass in a route parameter is a 10 but uh, in a body is 11 so we have to keep it same okay so we have a 10 so we have to set ideas body as well 10 okay just execute okay see now we get a 200 okay and now let me check in a get like those are things updated or not see it is updated proper updated okay let me zoom in for you okay see it is updated uh, with this you know whatever we just trying to put okay so same thing we will implement okay and if you first time visit in my channel so definitely you i especially recommend to you please go to my channel okay and uh, you have to you have to watch my previous session so that you can understand like okay uh, how skill in architecture work like how we can set up and how we can you know create that all the step by step actually i i created the session okay so please watch before proceed this one okay so let's get started so okay so so far what we have done let me recap okay so we have created you know just just zoom in okay so we created in you know, our domain layer we have implement domain layer we have infrastructure layer we have also you know that application layer now we are actually working on that web.net core web application which is actually uh, will try to integrate you know our clean architecture and and do that you know uh, insert update delete and you know all the card operation okay so let me open that block controller okay so in this block controller okay so so far actually see we implement the get we implement the get by id also we implement the post okay now we'll implement that put okay so first what need to do i need to add one http put okay http put and then i need to create a uh, one method okay let me create public task and then you know it is a just a i action result i action result and just create it for that you know update okay and just pass to two parameter okay uh, not to, yes two parameter so what what are those okay so those are so uh, first would be like integer okay whatever id we want to update so those id you have to pass and then another one is like what is the body okay so in this body we have to pass what are the you know parameter we have to update okay what are the field we have to update so we have already as a 
command we have already just created that command so update update blog okay blog blog command okay so pass as it is just set as the variable okay so if you go to this one if you go to implementation of that block c it's contained like this four pro three property id name description and author okay same thing you have to pass in the body okay and now what i need to do i need to check first you know first condition okay there is a condition first like okay whatever id okay so those id i have to match with this you know uh, actually this this is this id will come into a route parameter okay so let me define that as a route parameter first okay so let me this is a define syntax okay in the route parameter so if you if you want to pass any id so you just mention this id same name you have to pass so that they can actually serialize and you can get this id okay so now what need to do you have to check this id actually uh, if not equal to you know this command this update command id means this body id if it is not equal to then what i need to do i need to just return is it is a bad request okay which is we saw in our demo uh, demonstrations in this starting of the cell lesson okay so this is done okay and now what need to next what need to do the next okay so after that once the validation complete okay i need to call you know that mediator which we have already you know created in this you know abstract class okay so if you don't know so i'm especially recommend please watch my you know the previous session or i guess just uh, or, or or just you need to follow the all the all my clean architecture session okay so let me call that method okay that mediator method mediator and then send async and then pass it to that whatever object okay so this is our object i need to pass and this is actually uh, just a async method okay so let me pass that await and then await with async okay and then finally it is a return type okay so what i need to return in this met in this uh, pyramid and this uh, what do you call it? it's just a endpoint like put endpoint so i need to pass or i just need to return you know no content because I, I nothing I have to return to user right so that's why I just pass to no content so that it is saying 204 to user okay see the 204 status let me zoom in for you 204 status so that it is it is tell us like okay yeah a command execute successfully and it is updated successful okay so that's it for here okay let me put a debugger point so that I can check it. Okay, uh, like how is that working? Uh, flow flow is working is working over here. Like how we call. See, this is a minimal code we have just called to our clean architecture. Okay, so that's why it's called a clean architecture. Only just one line code you have to call to here. There is a no dependency of the application layer. It will handle you know with the mediator R pattern. Okay so let me run this application okay and let's see like how's uh, working like how's the code flow is working okay with the using a debugger point okay it's run and let me check how many how many day you know blocks is there okay remove that debugger point old debugger point okay okay now I have many many data over here so let me update this 11 okay the block id 11 okay so just try one 11 and just pass it to 11 if you see that is at that place like if you not match this you know route parameter to body parameter so it will complaining okay it is bad request okay so let me let me try it okay just execute okay see it is getting over here see id is id is 11 and command id would be is 11 
okay it is 11 i guess okay so it is 11 then it will update okay i suppose it should be i have to change actually to 11 to 10 okay but no issue i'll let me check like uh, it is updating properly or not then we'll check the validation okay definitely this will not going inside to bad request because this uh, you know uh, this condition is true right so okay now let me debugger point in our application layer go to application layer okay in this application layer go to here go to commands go to updates okay and go to update block handler okay in this year just debugger point put debugger point and just continue see whatever you know uh, web api controller it send request to our api layer okay and those same request we have got okay which is we sending to ui okay what they're doing just you know just you know trying to map okay like see this is our you know uh, view model okay this is a command and but our you know main repository which is you know connectivity with this domain entity okay so that's why we have just to convert over here okay so let me over here and also let me go to implementation so that you able to see that okay how is actually updating see this is our you know infrastructure layer if you go to solution layer see this is the infrastructure layer in this infrastructure layer we have implement like this insert update delete uh, repository along with this you know injecting our you know uh, db context class okay which is actually uh, responsibility to you know insert update delete uh, data to our database okay so let me continue okay see it is reaching over here so it is just update it's go back go back now see it is getting over here in the controller continue and now see that is a 200 okay it is a 204 actually okay and now let me validate the data again over here like how's the data see the 11 data has been changed with this string 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 because we haven't passed nothing over here right just pass as a string that's why okay let me just to you know that validation check okay just and the body i just pass to 12 but in the you know route parameter i just pass to 11 okay let me execute okay debugger point is reaching there okay and now let me debugger see see it will fail so that's why it's going to inside and that it will return to bad request see the bad request okay so that is done for this session okay so that is done for this session and next session will you know implement that you know delete how we can delete that those blocks so that will implement in our uh, web api okay so till now thank you have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe